BRB Network TV with Brian Herzog. We have Baton Rouge attorney Kip Wall in studio with a practice focused on representing consumers in the area of bankruptcy. Kip, can you give me a simple Chapter 13 scenario? Brian, every situation varies and every set of facts have, has to be looked at independently. But a common scenario might involve a situation where somebody has lost their employment. They're not working for a while, they don't have the income necessary to meet their financial obligations. They get behind on a car note and they can't catch up. They return to work. They're hired at a new job, they return to their old job. Now they have income coming in again, but they're behind on their car note and the creditor won't work with them. So what do they do? Well, we'll sit down and look at their situation as we've talked about before. We have to look at all their debts, we have to look at their income, we have to look at their expenses. Then we try to craft a plan which will enable them to pay off their vehicle and keep it because they've got to have that car to get to work. And if they don't have their vehicles, then the situation gets much worse. I mean, that sounds pretty easy. Kip, is, is it a slam dunk? No, as with most legal matters, there are very few slam dunks. That's why you need to speak with a qualified attorney who specializes in bankruptcy to discuss your particular situation, what your goals are, and what you want to accomplish. If a Chapter 13 won't work, are there any other options out there for the folks? Commonly, people will look at a Chapter 7 if a Chapter 13 does not work for them. A Chapter 7 is a different type of bankruptcy. Primarily, the focus of a Chapter 7 is to eliminate debt, to give people a fresh start, to let them get out from under debt that they can no longer support. Sounds pretty easy, Kip. You know, does anyone uh, qualify for a Chapter 7? Can anyone do it? As we mentioned earlier, the laws changed in 2005. There are now certain guidelines that must be met in order to qualify for a Chapter 7. As I mentioned earlier, when you speak with an attorney, they'll discuss those guidelines with you and whether or not you qualify. There are certain tests that you have to meet to qualify for a Chapter 7. In order to make that determination, you're going to have to discuss with the attorney what your income is, what your obligations are, and then the attorney can advise you regarding what your options may be. Well, Kip, uh, is there any advice that you have to give the people out there who are trying to survive this, uh, this economy slump right now? Is there anything that you want to give the folks out there? Don't wait too long. You need to address your financial problems as quickly as possible. The longer you wait, the fewer options you may have in your situation. Talk to your lenders. See if you can work out payment arrangements with them. You can also seek credit counseling through agencies that are available here in the area. And you can also talk to an attorney who specializes in bankruptcy. Identify what your options are. The longer you wait, the fewer options you may have in your situation. Well, thank you for being here with us in studio, Kip Wall. Thank you, Brian. Baton Rouge attorney Kip Wall with a practice focused on representing consumers in the area of bankruptcy. We'll be back with the closing remarks for BRB Network TV. Stick around.